before I had even got out the bread, I heard a massive crash. It seems like the little girl has broken a glass. <laughs> I broke something. <laughs> what? What do we do? You ever did babysitting when you were young for a little bit of side money, some extra income? You know, before you're able to work uh, for a job paycheck, you know, um, or before your legal age at least, most people have little side jobs. You know, boys tend to do things like chores, like cutting grass and things like that. Girls, on the other hand, ended up doing a lot of babysitting. My daughter's done some babysitting before, and I've done my fair share of babysitting. Heck, my mom owned a daycare, and I ended up doing some babysitting as a job when I was about 15 years old. And, uh, you know, it, it was mostly around making food for the kids and helping watch them, you know, um, in their playtime, you know. So it was, it was pretty simple. And when catastrophe would happen, I could call for help. Mama, mama, somebody got hurt because nobody wants to tell anybody about their kids being hurt when you were watching them it's some scary stuff man but i imagine some babysitter horror stories that could that could go down just based on what i've seen we're gonna react to one today it's by spooked make sure to head on over to their channel guys and click subscribe hit the notification bell and if you like reaction videos make sure to subscribe to this channel as well let's get into the reaction i began babysitting at 13 to earn okay. extra money to spend on things like Fallout Boy CDs. Yeah. <laughs> I would almost always babysit for my dad's clients, who was a lawyer, All right. and get referred by word of mouth. I was babysitting for this one family who had a little girl, nine, and All a right. little boy, seven. Nine and seven. The parents okay. seemed okay, if a tad crotchety, All right. giving me a full schedule to follow and jokingly threatening to beat any boy who might mysteriously show up after they left. <laughs> it felt cruel for them to accuse me of even knowing a boy. Given I basically looked like an overgrown baby with frizzy hair at that age. Are you 13, Almost immediately though? after the parents leave, the little girl sings a creepy, high pitched voice. We're all alone now. <laughs> it sounds like this little girl's got some plans. You know, at 13, the parents have every right. I don't know if they were accusing as much as threatening. You know, really and truly, at 13 years old, you're capable of some mischief yourself. And if you don't have any supervision, even though you're there to be a supervisor, you can do, I mean, you can call boys over. I think that's the classic babysitting story, right? You call a boy over or a boy gets called over, a house party happens when the parents are gone, and all you gotta do is make sure the kids don't get killed. <laughs> Not that hard to do, right? Cue the Shining soundtrack. Oh. I know, the little boy chimed in. Let's play rape. Looking back now, I know the kid probably just heard the term what? on TV, <laughs> knew the word was shocking, right. and said it just for a reaction. Okay. I totally bought into it at the time, sputtering wide-eyed and changing the subject quickly. These kids were hell for the next hour. Oh my god! I wouldn't let them watch South Park on the TV because their parents did not seem like the type to allow their precious 7 and 9 year old to watch a show yeah. like that. South Park's As a little... I said no, the little girl said casually, Oh, that's fine. We'll just go play PlayStation in the family room. No, don't let them kids out your sight. <laughs> so, they sound evil already, okay? I wasn't even expecting this. I was expecting more of a, you know, something bad to happen while the babysitter was home or whatever. But I think this is a, <laughs> I think this is a little twist on the story. South Park's a little risque. If you never watched it, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a tad bit over there. It's definitely adult themed for humor and and there's a there's a lot of really upfront stuff if you ever watched a south park movie before there's a lot of cursing in it which is probably very inappropriate for a kid to hear much less the overarching themes and and narratives that they have in a lot of the south park episodes are way 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 adult compared to what seven and nine year olds should be watching feel free to watch it out i here. love it though well nope I knew exactly where that was headed. I said they could watch any other TV show in the living room while I made them dinner. Okay. The parents had left instructions to make them sandwiches. Easy. I could handle that. Easy peasy. Before I had even got out the bread, I heard a massive crash. It seems like the little girl has broken a glass. Oh no. Tugging and pissed, but ultimately with no way to punish her, I cleaned it up with these two incredibly weird kids watched with wide eyes. <laughs> I broke something. 
<laughs> what what do we do? It happened then that you'll watch. It was her fault. It was his fault. It, when you break, when kids break stuff at that age, man. It's, but again, like the kids didn't get hurt, thankfully. But you still got to tell their parents, like, listen, while you were out, you know that nice vase that you had in the living room next to the coffee table? Yeah, it got broken. I was making them sandwiches, so I wasn't watching them at that point. So I'm not really sure how it happened. That's got to be a bad feeling in your gut, man. Dumping the broken glass in the trash, I went back to making the sandwiches. Sheesh. I'm a vegetarian, so while the kids had chicken, I made a simple salad for myself. All right. Just as I was finishing, the little boy screamed out in what, even from my hyper-vigilant state as an accountable teenage babysitter, sounded like a pantomime of pain. Oh, no. Nonetheless, I ran over to the couch in the living room to check on him. My ankle, he howled, oh my dramatically God. flopping back into the couch. While I tried to figure out how he hurt his ankle, the little girl slipped out of the room. Peripherally, I was aware of this, but didn't really pay it any mind, focusing on this little boy pretending to be in pain. Oh, wait. So he's pretending to be in pain, but the girl just left like she was guilty. <laughs> Are they playing some kind of game with her? He kept saying, I went to stand, but it hurt too much. I don't know. Over and over until his eyes suddenly flicked to just behind me, where I could see the little girl standing with a perturbing smile on her face. He was miraculously healed. Yeah, praise the Lord. At this point, I was just thinking these kids were really weird, crazy yeah. attention a little too much, <laughs> and probably needed more parental involvement. Definitely. Whatever. I was 13, <laughs> and that $60 was only four hours away. All right. I set out the sandwiches for the two to eat at the dining table, went to get a soda, and returned. All right. After pouring soda for the both of them, I realized they hadn't even taken a bite of their sandwiches yet. All right. I asked them what they were waiting for. They smiled. For you to take a bite of yours. I am so glad I had a gut feeling to open did the they? top part of my sandwich, because when I did, I saw glass. Broken glass. Oh my god, I just got the chills so bad. They put glass in to kill her or hurt her? Bruh. Wait, they broke the glass. Did they actually... Did they actually stage the little boy getting hurt after breaking the glass deliberately? Broken glass that I put in the trash. I stared in horror at the two little kids staring at me with menacing twin grins. Oh my it, god. Shouting. Are you serious? At the very least, you could have really injured my mouth. Yeah. What's wrong with you two? Or killed her. Instead of crying or apologizing or pretending to be ashamed or confused, these two little fuckers began laughing. Not like kids. It was too low. Bruh. It wasn't even that silly. Free laugh, kids laugh. That's It evil. was low and threatening. I'll evil. never forget that noise. My immediate reaction was, these kids are too young to be laughing like that. I called my older sister, cried about what happened, and she came and took over for me. We left the house with chills after the parents arrived. I never babysat for those two again. What I Bruh. can't get past is the level of premeditation that went into sprinkling that broken glass into my sandwich. Yes! And the totally remorseless way they responded to my getting upset. They were unlike any two kids I've met before. I don't I don't even know what to say, dude. The when he said the level of premeditation, that's exactly what happened. These kids deliberately, so they said, we're all alone now. Meaning, it's like they had her in their sights, right? They deliberately broke a vase in order to get the glass broken. They took the broken glass and put it in her sandwiches after staging the little boy being in pain so the little girl can go outside of that room and do the dirty work and then waited to see if she would eat the food 
the, the level of evil in that is just beyond anything I've ever heard for kids, man. Kids can be some little monsters. And while at seven and nine years old, they don't really grasp the value of life, this seemed a little bit, this seemed a little bit more sinister. It makes you think, how in the world do kids get like that with normal parents? Have they been exposed to stuff like that on the internet over time or is somebody else teaching them that? Or or the parents actually just crazy and allow their kids to learn something like that or even teach them? People can be monsters, man. You got to watch out. Y'all be safe out there, guys. Spooked? He had a great narration with this one, man. Make sure to subscribe to him as well as another couple videos that I reacted to from here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Ulgent signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.